Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Anna Mae. Today, I'm gonna to be talking you through what is in my travel makeup bag. I'm lucky enough to have traveled quite a bit in my lifetime so far, and when I travel, I like to be as organized as possible, especially when it comes to packing and everything like that. Having high maintenance skin and liking makeup, also having high maintenance hair, has always meant I needed to really, really organize what I was going to be able to bring when I was only traveling with carry-on luggage, which is most of the time. So I thought it would be fun to walk you through what I bring when I travel as far as makeup. Uh, I'm not really gonna go into anything else, but I'm gonna show you what I put in the one liter resealable clear Ziploc or just resealable, whatever kind. It just has to be resealable. Some airports are fussy and make you put it in a plastic Ziploc bag, which is annoying. And then what is in like the dry goods bag almost, which I can keep in my actual piece of luggage. So I'm gonna actually just start off with what is in the clear Ziploc bag. Now this is actually a 1.5 liter bag, uh, I believe, but I didn't have, or is it just a one liter? I think it said 1.5. I broke my regular resealable bag uh, the day that we were leaving, so that was annoying. So mostly in here I just have like hair product, moisturizer, face, facial cleanser, dry shampoo, and the only real makeup products that will go in this bag are lip products. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Pony Up. I'm wearing it today, I love this. Uh, pretty much only use ColourPop lip glosses. Kind of have a problem. And the other thing is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Uh, I'm obsessed with this. I have been for years. I have very oily skin, as I said, a very reactive skin. So to find something that doesn't irritate my skin and allows my eyeshadow to not transfer all over my face is amazing. So definitely recommend this if you have oily skin. Um, but I always bring this, and even though it's a very small amount of liquid, I do put it in the liquids bag just so I'm not holding anybody up at security because I don't want to be that person. So moving on to the dry goods bag, if you will. Some people go for a much more minimal makeup look. I typically don't. Uh, when I travel, I do tone it down a bit because I usually don't travel with an eyeshadow palette unless I'm going away for like more than a week um, or even more than like five days, then I will probably bring something. And anyways, that is a dry good. It's fine to travel with but maybe this is a lot of products to you, it's not to me, but each to their own. This is just an example of how you could do it if you want to bring more products. So I'm gonna kind of go in the order of how I would apply things. So starting off with foundation, I don't use primer. Again, easily irritated skin, so primers are often the devil. Uh, so I go straight in with my Revolution Makeup, or what is it? Makeup Revolution London. I always get confused with the name. Uh, the Stick Foundation, and this is in F6, so this is actually my self-tan shade because it is not my color right now. Um, this is amazing foundation, honestly. It's really inexpensive. I was afraid that it might irritate my skin or it would like slide off because I have such oily skin. Not at all. This is amazing, and it is, it is a creamy formula, but it's not liquid enough that I think you need to put it in the Clear Up Lock bag. So that's why it's amazing for travel. It's not gonna you know, like powders can shatter. It's not gonna leak anywhere either because it's not a liquid. So having a stick foundation for travel is amazing and it is full coverage. There's a pretty good color selection from what I can remember. Uh, I did say this is in F6. I also, I believe, have F2, which is more what I would be now. It's not what I'm wearing today, but definitely recommend this foundation for travel. It's amazing. You can put a little bit on or you can put a lot on. So usually right after foundation, I go in with eye primer uh, to kind of even that out and let it dry while I do my brows. So the brow product I travel with is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. Uh, I don't use this on the regular. This is just for travel because the usual product I use for my brows is actually like in an eyeshadow palette. I know that's so tacky of me, but it's the perfect taupe color for my brows. And I'm just using it up before I throw out the palette. Um, so I use that when I'm at home and when I'm on the go, I use this. And using this creamy product also means that I don't need to have like a brow gel because I think it does the job enough. With the spoolie, with the kind of creamy waxy formula, it'll stick those brows in place and as you can see I have like wavy hair so it even sticks my wavyish brows in place. Uh, really like this product, it's really inexpensive 
but I think if I was using it all the time I would go through it like every three weeks which is kind of annoying but it's perfect for travel so keeps my brows it's like an all-in-one brow for me you might notice a theme in this video and that theme is ColourPop. I tried ColourPop when I was living in New York uh, a couple months ago. I was there from January until June of this past year. Uh, you can check out some of my videos, I'll link them in the cards. I was interning at the UN. Um, but I tried ColourPop when I was there because it was in the Ulta very close to me. This is the Super Shock Shadow in Hanky Panky. The Super Shock Shadows are amazing in my opinion. I just love them. I haven't found a Colourpop product that I've tried and haven't loved. So I like this colour A. It's a really creamy, neutral, so flattering base for any eyeshadow look really. But I like to use it just by itself. It's not what I'm wearing today. I am wearing a Super Shock shadow today, uh, but I'm wearing Wattles. This is, as I said, Hanky Panky. It is a matte shade, but it's like, it's, it enhances your eyes uh, but it's not a strong punch of color which can be a lot because I do have light eyes and pale skin so sometimes that's too much this will go with everything it's not too cool toned it's not too warm toned it's perfect I even have gotten my mom to try it before she's not a big makeup person but she does like to look good so I like this is just your all-in-one little eyeshadow you just need to make sure to tighten the lid so it doesn't dry out. Also I just apply this with my finger, that's another benefit of these, you can just apply it with your hands. Uh, I just go in with my ring finger and put it all over the lid and you're good to go. At this point my foundation will kind of have dried down and set a little bit and I will go in with my blush which is also Colourpop, it's a Super Shock cheek or blush? Super Shock Cheek. This is in No Vacancy. It is very coral. It's what I'm wearing today. I really, really like it. Uh, it goes well when I'm pale and it also goes well when I'm tan. I do have another one in Prenup, which I also really like. You can apply this with your fingers as I do the eyeshadow, but in this case, this was when um, my most recent trip to Belgium. I did bring a brush. This is just a Wet n Wild flat brush, uh, flat top brush, and I just kind of use it to pack it on, but a little goes a long way obviously it's very neon orange but I'm someone who really likes blush so can't be without it and it's creamy so it doesn't shatter it's not a liquid so it doesn't have to be in the clear bag perfect so when I travel I do usually bring an eyeliner pencil I wouldn't always maybe I would bring liquid eyeliner but liquid eyeliner again I wouldn't necessarily put in the liquids bag you if you have room do if you don't don't uh, I'm not like TSA or anything though so um, I would just, this is just an eyeliner pencil from NYX. Just, you know, before maybe going out in the evening, you want to just darken up your eye look a small bit. Uh, eyeliner pencil is good to have, and to be honest, it's very light, it's very small. It doesn't make a big difference to your makeup bag. Uh, I do bring my eyelash curler, and I know some people don't, people are afraid of curling their eyelashes. I cannot not curl my eyelashes, because they're, I'm lucky that I have pretty decent eyelashes, but they go rolling straight out. So, very necessary. Uh, so I usually kind of curl my eyelashes and then like give them a second because they'll be very curled. And I'll do my face powder. In this case, I'm bringing the, or I brought, or would bring, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder. Now, this might be breaking me out. I don't know. But also being alive kind of breaks me out, so... I'm not gonna take it out on the powder. Uh, I got this in light medium. I did not get the translucent because I did want something with a bit of color. Uh, I have really bad luck with face powders. They always break me out. They look terrible, they look crusty, but this one has been my friend. Uh, it is a loose powder, but it has like a thing. It's not a bouncy sponge, it's, it's just plastic. So it's kind of difficult in that way, but it's worth it. I really like it. It's a pretty inexpensive product if I'm remembering correctly, it's NYX, so it should be. And I bring this um, angled fluffy brush to pack it on when I need it. I am totally loyal to my mascara, and that is the Essence Lash Princess in the False Lash Effect. Uh, amazing. I did try the waterproof one. I didn't like it because I don't use makeup wipes. I use uh, like a makeup eraser towel thing, so it's just easier to not have waterproof makeup, and it didn't transfer any less than the regular, so um, I went back to this one. I also don't put this in the liquids bag because it's actually more of a paste and it's quite a minimal amount of liquid, even though technically you could say, oh yeah, it probably does need to go in there. I never would. Overall, like 
you're just your mascara but this is a really good mascara if you're looking for a new one i forgot to say that i use a beauty sponge like a damp beauty sponge to blend in my foundation but again that's just a sponge just thought I'd mention it. And then lastly, I would go in with my bronzer. And this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Uh, and then it's just this contour brush from Real Techniques. This, this is gold. <laughs> uh, but it's actual gold. This is amazing bronzer. I swear by it. I love bronzer. Uh, but this is a really good one. Yeah, it smells good. But I think it also performs really, really well as a product. And uh, yeah, I always travel with it. I've been lucky that I have dropped it and I've never shattered one. Touch wood. But uh, I have to be with my bronzer. And then of course is when I'd go in with whatever lip product that would be. I would usually bring a couple and they would be in the liquids bag. So that is the little walkthrough of what I keep in my travel makeup bag. That's what I pack with me when I'm going more so on like weekend to like long weekend short trips. Uh, it's all carry-on stuff. So that always makes life a little bit easier, especially with the whole foundation thing, because foundation can take up a lot of space. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at anime.yt. I'll also link some of the videos I mentioned earlier from when I was in New York here and a little shortcut if you want to subscribe. And that is it for this video. I will see you in my next one.